Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ify, and I will be presenting to you this week's fragrance news. Creed will be launching this June the new Aventus Cologne. And even though the bottle looks almost the same as the original Creed Aventus, this fragrance doesn't smell that similar to the original Creed Aventus. The similarity between the two is less than 50% even though they both share the original Creed Aventus DNA. This new release is supposed to be a sportier version of Creed Aventus, a more fresher one, more mass appealing one, even though Creed Aventus was one of the most mass appealing fragrances, the ladies didn't seem to appreciate it as much as men. And this new release, the Creed Cologne, is supposed to be even more appealing, but to the ladies as well. So the fragrance will smell more like the likes of Bleu de Chanel or Aqua di Gio or Allure on Sport. But the question is, will it keep the Creed DNA, the niche-like DNA, or will it become more like a designer fragrance? I'm saying that because Ambergris seem to be removed from the composition and ambergris, one of the most expensive ingredients which made, which gave Creed fragrances that high quality will no longer be in this new fragrance. But even so, the price is somewhere between three and five hundred dollars. So I understand why many people are disappointed, especially on Fragrantica, where this fragrance has a lot of dislikes. And also on Fragrantica, people have pointed out that the Creed Cologne smells similar or remind them of Barbie supermodel fragrance. I highly doubt that's the case, but it's always amusing to see these kind of comparisons. In other news, Jeremy's fragrance first fragrance, which is actually called Fragrance 1 Office for Men is still in the attention of many reviewers and even more it appeared on Fragrantica. Very much like the Creed Cologne, this fragrance Office for Men is supposed to be a mass appealing fragrance, a compliment getter. This is what Jeremy wanted to create and apparently he succeeded. The only issue is that the price is too high for a fragrance that smells similar to many other designer fragrances which you can get for a fraction of the price. Also, many reviews point out that this fragrance doesn't have the niche quality, nor does it have a cap. Maybe that's the reason why Fragrantica chose to display a covered bottle of this fragrance on its page. Again, this fragrance is compared to other funny fragrances from Fragrantica. In other news, Carolina Herrera is releasing two new limited edition fragrances ch queens and ch kings these two fragrances are inspired by playing cards the one for the ladies ch queens seems like a freshy with notes like neroli grapefruit and coconut excuse me coconut but it also has an oriental base with sandalwood and vanilla ch kings doesn't seem like a flanker of the original and doesn't seem similar at all regarding the notes. This new release is very spicy with black and pink pepper, but also gourmand with cocoa and coffee. And it also has an interesting note of pineapple. I'm really curious to see how the pineapple fits in this kind of composition. And it's also going to be an eau de parfum concentration. And in other news, Lalik, which is popular for creating awesome crystal bottles, and it's also a company that works with glass is going to release a crystal bottle with an orchid theme to pay tribute to René Lalique and to the house's first fragrance release Lalique de Lalique gorgeous gorgeous looking bottle this is definitely some collector stuff here and the price for this one goes to 1200 euros so if you are into expensive and luxurious stuff this is definitely something that you need to have and to expose it to the people which will visit your place because otherwise I don't know why you will be paying 1200 euros. And in the final news of the day, Davidoff launches the intense version of Cool Water for her and for him. A fragrance that has been released 30 years ago. It's finally getting the Eau du Parfum version. This is definitely one of the fragrances that I would like to put my nose on, especially because there are slight changes in the composition. This new release, the Eau du Parfum version for men, for example, 
I'm curious how long will it last because it will have coconut water in the composition. And we all know that coconut is not really the kind of note which will make your fragrance last longer. And to be honest, the original version of Cool Water, on my skin at least, was already good. Already had a good performance. If this newer version will get the tropical smell and will even last longer, that would be great. The female version will also have some changes. It will have citruses, it will have exotic flowers and it will also have tropical fruit. I personally was not a big fan of the original because it smelled like a generic fresh fragrance for the ladies. And that was it guys, these were the fragrance news for this week. If you like this kind of video, I will try to make it a regular upload. Until the next video, keep smelling great.